Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 263, count number of maximum bit rise or subset. So this one is kind of, could potentially be very tricky. I think there is actually, um, I want to say, I think there is a better solution, but maybe I'm wrong. But that said, the first thing I would notice is that you didn't hit the like button or subscribe button or yet, yeah, maybe, I don't, know, I don't know if that's true. Maybe you already did, then I thank you. Uh, but also just come join me on Discord with me and a bunch of smart uh, people whom we share the joy of solving problems and just discussing them afterwards. Uh, so whether you're successful or not, you know, come hang out. Anyway, but the first thing I actually did notice is that N is 16. Um, so as soon as I noticed this, I have one answer, right? Brute force. So because basically the two things, right? One is n is equal to 16, and then subset means that um, the power set, of course, is the number or the set of all the subsets, and that power set contains 2 to the n number of elements. And because that, 2 to the 16 is, as you may know, 32,000, roughly speaking, um, because there's a pretty common number. Um, but yeah, so that means that for the, that means that we do brute force, it only take um, you know, 2 to the 16 times 16 maybe uh, and something like that uh, but that's going to be fast enough as you know or as you if you have if you have done enough of these then you would, would uh, sense that um, so then from that you go okay let's say we have brute force how do we do it right I guess there are actually two ways of doing it one is kind of just doing brute force and once you do a brute force you could do another brute force to count the number of max uh, possible bitwise sum. I don't know if that's fast enough to be honest because I don't know. Lead code, lead code TLEs or time limited are always a little bit weird. So I don't know if that's true. But conceptually, that would have the same complexity and that would be the answer. I didn't do it that way. Um, though maybe I should have now that I think about it. Uh, maybe it would have been a little bit easier. But I spent, or a little faster because I did spend about a minute thinking about, um, what is the maximum bitwise or, right? Um, so the maximum bitwise or it turns out, uh, I mean, maybe I didn't spend a minute because that, that seems long now that I think about it, but, but this is one of those things that if you have done enough competitive programming or maybe lead code, um, it's something that it's not, I wouldn't say it's a property or observation, uh, or it's not a property per se, but if you've done enough of these, you've made this observation before so that it allows you to kind of make this observation this time, um, in a much quicker manner. So what I mean by that is that, is that uh, definitely, uh, if, you know, when you practice enough of these type of problems, um, not only do you like see similar problems, you're like, oh, I've done this proof, I've done this math before, so this time I don't have to do it, right? Anyway, th what I was gonna say about this observation is that if you have a bitwise or, um, you know, you can look at each, you know, uh, for, for or, or for bitwise operations in general, you can look at each bit independently, right? And to maximize one bit, because you, you can, in this case, you can maximize each bit, uh, independently in theory. Um, but, but the TLDR is that if you max, if you do a bitwise or of every number, if you do it for every number in a greedy kind of way, that will always give you the max because if you do, um, because it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like merging things together, right? You, like it's having, uh, you can only get more bitwise ones uh, with or, and you cannot get, you know, there's no negative on adding more bitwise or. So that's basically the idea. So as a result, you can do a bitwise or of all the number. And that's basically what I did here. I, I have n is zero the number of numbers, and then I do a bitwise or of all the numbers. So then now, at, after this, best will contain the um the maximum bitwise or and then from that we just have to construct all possible subsets um we don't have to be clever we don't have to be or we don't have to be that clever we we just kind of go from a two to the end kind of way and you could do it with uh, a bit mask uh or you could do it recursively i've been doing it i usually do it with bit mask to be honest but here i did it with recursion because i feel like lead code's been a little bit weird with bit masks lately uh or python maybe i don't know one of the two so yeah so basically for each index you can either bitwise or it or you can not bitwise or it so that's basically the two branch that's how a subset is defined so each number can be in it or not in it um and then and if it's in it, we do the bitwise or, and then we do a recursion. And then at the way n, we check to see if the 
the bit wise or of this sub of the subset is equal to the best. If it is, we increment by one. Um, that's pretty much it. We do a full recursion. We, we return a count. And that's all I have. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one now. And of course, the, the complexity is going to be O of 2 to the n, uh, where n is equal to 16, right? Um, so yeah, and in terms of space, it is going to be O of uh, n, uh, mostly for the stack space uh, of this recursion, but you can also kind of find it somewhere, I guess. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. You can watch me solve it live during the contest. Ooh, whoops. Next. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, he thanks for thanks for watching it up to now. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, have a great time. St hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Talk about this problem, other problems, this contest, whatever you like to do. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to a good mental health. Have a great rest of the weekend. Have a great rest of the week. Uh, we'll do the daily problems. We'll see you later. And I'll see. And bye bye. <laughs>